Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Alice, The Madness Returns. Uh, in the previous episode, I lost my flippin' mind, and died. A lot. So, we're gonna blast through this real quick. I'm gonna take this hobbity horse, and I'm gonna shove it up the white rabbit's bum. And we're gonna move on, so I can get through the story of this nonsense. Let's do it. There's no time to waste it. There's no time at all. Got one. Ah, oh, there's the other one. No, I ain't having this today. No, no, I know. Ah, eh. smash. Ow, ow, hey. Ole, I'm yours. Alright, that one's dead. Now, you! Mm. Ow, 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 ow! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear! I can't see! Yeah. Oh, I killed something! Yay! Uh. Screw you! Well, that kind of helped. Alrighty, big guy, you and me. Oh crap! No! Her! Dang it! I've been recording for Oh! Okay! I can do this! Nope. I have to kill these guys first. Bloop. This is hard. Don't have enough. I win. Come, Alice, don't dawdle. You've already missed the train. I win. I win! Yay! I did it. 
I get it, Ed. I got an extra healthy thingy. Hi, Hatter. Bye, Hatter. Thank God I don't have to do that again. Hmm. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. Finally, we're done. We're done. I can stop. It's plugged. I don't have to go back ever again. We're done. We're going to continue with the storyline now. I saw the... An invisible one? That's cheating. Now that now they're just cheating. Yeah, that was ludicrous. An invisible big snail. Bottle. I still don't know what the bottles are for. But they're collectible, so I will collect them. Man, do I have to go through the 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 dead fish and the things and stuff? And yeah, I guess so. What did you all do to the- oh, stuff. Stuff! Stuff before disgust. <laughs> screws. You couldn't use nails. No, you had to use screws. Screws! You people are screwed up. You people are literally screwed up, man. Why? And they go through the eyes. It's just... What do you want, Cheshire? Every picture tells a story. Sometimes we don't like the ending. Sometimes we don't understand it. Wait a minute, you're still alive. You have a saw through your face. You're the mayor! Why? What? What possible purpose does all this serve? Dead fishies everywhere. I mean, just in pile of the whole town. Oh, they opened that one up. That's just gross. Come on. This is... And they left him alive. Why? And I'm barefoot. You know, as if that wasn't bad enough. I had to wade through all that with no shoes on. Oh dear. This looks spooky. Boss fight! Boss fight? Oh, we're suddenly back in the theater? What? Grumpy Walrus Carpenter, that way. Well, then what's this way? I can't go this way. Okay, I have to go this way. Okay, fine. Let's go this way. Oh, look, it's the, the bottle fish and Mr. Octopus. Nothing to say? Well, you still have an audience while everyone else is dead. I guess I'll join them. Let's see how this goes. Chatter, 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 chatter. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show! I only found two of those. Quite enough of that, I think. Enough preliminaries. Here's the performance you've been waiting for. Proves I'm without prejudice and have a fine sense of humor. Sword and crown are worthless here. I invite everyone to dance. Laborers, lawyers, church and gown all make their little pranks. This life is full of random deaths and heaps of grief and shame. So few are soothed by accident 
You want someone to blame? Fire, plague, and strange disease. Drowned, murdered, or if you please. A long fall down the basement stairs. None are expected. No one cares. I often must work very hard. Sweat running down my skin. After the dance, I then must rest. And the eating can begin. Time to eat. Death is the ultimate equalizer. All have the right to be eaten. <laughs> Get a knife, Pritchard. Don't push. All will be served. So to speak. Wicked thing. Feasting while Wonderland is destroyed. I'm not the enemy you seek, Alice. I tried to hide this bit of Wonderland from that beast. Appeasement's never clean. We must all play our assigned roles. Are you a pawn or a queen? An idiot or a practiced fool? However this turns out, consider the prospect that you've been misled, Alice. Then ask, by whom? No! Who oh, set that bloody train in motion? Where has it come from? It arrived when you arrived, and it's more horrible even than you could currently imagine. The death of a dream! Caterpillar may know how! Whoa. That was, um, kind of intense. In a, from a psycho psychological point of view. Oh, right. The fire. What? Oh, the blood in my mouth tastes like bile. Where's the brute that hit me, Nanny? Nasty prats out cold. Not dead, and more's the pity. What did he want? What they all want. Money he didn't earn. What were you thinking, butting into that mess? You could have been killed. Nanny, my mind's in pieces. I still have terrible visions, and I need to know. About the fire. Same as always. You need to move on, Alice. So do I. Well, at least she's not spewing that asylum nonsense. My past is dead. I killed them. I should have saved them. I should have died. Her mind was in shambles. Radcliffe thought familiar faces would bring her round. After a year, he lost interest in her inheritance, greedy sod. Still, always asking his bizarre questions. Heavy dose of madness, I'd say, but honest is never the best policy in this life. When she wasn't comatose, she gaped eyes like pinwheels, drooled, and occasionally squeaked. Never uttered a sensible sound. And like the child she was, she kept her secrets close. off some lurkers, common as cockroaches, and those poor tykes of food for perverts, like the blameless ants that wasps consume or spiders feeble prey. You visited my room at Rutledge. What you were you- You call that? Radcliffe paid me for a bit. A woman alone sometimes does what she doesn't particularly feel like doing. As you know. Nurse Whitless said you'd fallen on hard times. I'm no drunk like her. I'm hurting no one. Hooking's not a bad life. Except for the pimps. She also said you might have my rabbit. Please, Nanny, talk about the damn fire. Never seems to help. Look, Alice, I can't give you what I don't have. Radcliffe wrote the inquest report. I'll take you to him. Besides, he's got your damn rabbit. You should remember that. All right, but Mr. Radcliffe's useless. Don't I know it? And we're back. Oh. Yeah, and we're back in the dreary, ugly reality. Hello, surprisingly dapper looking chap. Well, at least the music a little less awful now. A little less depressing, but a little more eerie. Oh, well. That's as good as it's going to get. Awful. Alice's luck is awful. And so is the luck of everyone around her. Jeez. Well. That was a wild ride. I still don't know what's going on. I mean, other than 
the little Totenons thing totally went how I, as I expected. The walrus ate little oyster girls. Which... is awful. But... The train. I mean, I can only imagine it's supposed to be her train of thought. But uh, her train of thought has derailed and is destroying everything. What a wonderful beast of symbolism that is. Hmm. That concludes this episode, so we'll just have to try and figure out what the heck is going on in the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye, YouTube.